Merry Christmas. Hi there. It is officially December, which means I am now allowed to make Christmas videos. I'm aware that I kind of look like I'm five wearing this bow, and that's because it's from when I was five, but I had to festivize that's not a word my outfit and this is a christmas bow so i was like you know we're just gonna go for it merry christmas christmas is a time like every other time in my life where i like to add a lot of unnecessary fandom things into it this is a christmas tradition that i've been doing for a while and i thought i would share with you guys what i do to fandom eyes not a word again my christmas and stuff that you can do to make your christmas more fandom friendly. Were you were you admiring my tree there in the background? Do you want to see it? Come on, I'll, I'll go show you. So this part of my room is my little Christmas nook. I'm aware it's quite underwhelming and that's just because I don't have anything to put there nor do I have enough space to put everything that I would want to put there. So here's my beautiful mini tree that was a Christmas gift many moons ago and I still use it every year. I've gotten all my own little ornaments. I'll show you some of my favorites. So I've got my two favorite princesses, which are Belle and Rapunzel. Those are from the Disney store. I have this light up Pascal, which is like, are we kidding? That's the cutest thing ever. Here's an Eeyore because we love Eeyore. A Canadian Nutcracker. I don't know. I also have a um, snowman made of Timbits. Again, I don't know. This one's from the Rainforest Cafe, super festive. And a plethora of Harry Potter ornaments that, wait for it, they talk. Excuse me, sir. Any time you wear, I might find platform nine and three quarters. It's crazy. Okay. And just a lot of various ornaments from both the Disney Store and Hallmark and other um, locations that I've collected them throughout the years. I simply cannot fit every ornament that I would want on here because I don't know how big it looks on camera, but it's quite small in real life. And then if we move right down from my tree, we have my festive Funkos. Here we have a lovely baby Christmas Groot who is just thriving with these Christmas lights on him. Here is a Christmas Spidey with a adorable little sweater on. Like, are we kidding? And here is a festive R2-D2 with more Christmas lights on his antlers that he somehow grew. I mean, I'm not complaining. So yeah, here's my Christmas quarter. Is it exciting? Not really. But does it make me happy? Yes. Yes, it does. Now that you have seen my Christmas corner, let me tell you some of my other fandom festivities. A first thing that you can get is some pretty awesome Christmas clothing. Here is a Harry Potter Christmas sweater that says I solemnly swear I'm up to no good, but it's like an ugly Christmas sweater. I believe I got this at like Kohl's or something, but I've had it for a couple of years and it's just so fun to bring out at the holiday season. Some other fun things that you can do are um, watch a Christmas movie that's fandom. Some of my favorite movies that get me in the Christmas spirit that aren't Christmas movies would be the first Harry Potter, the fifth Harry Potter, basically every Disney movie, but for some reason I really like to watch Beauty and the Beast at Christmas time. And there are lots of TV shows that have like Christmas specials, like the last episodes of Stranger Things have Christmas in them. If you're feeling like it, just go rewatch the last two episodes of each season of Stranger Things. We know everybody does Secret Santa Christmas parties, but why don't you mix it up? Why don't you do a Harry Potter Christmas party? I have never thrown one of these because none of my friends like Harry Potter, but if they did, I will assure you I would do it. I don't really know what this party would entail. Probably some Harry Potter Christmas time music in the background. Your gifts could all be Harry Potter themed, like a white elephant Harry Potter presents. That's crazy, right? And other fun Harry Potter themed Christmas games that you can come up with because I'm not creative enough for that. If you want to really get immersed in the fandom holiday experience, you could go somewhere. If you live anywhere near it, both Disney and Universal are amazing places to get in the fandom holiday spirit. Disney obviously decks their whole parks out for Christmas. So if you're okay with it being a little busy, it will be a very magical experience for you. I'll be at Disney World this Christmas so I can give you my full review. Universal also does a new thing where they do Christmas at Hogwarts, which I haven't had 
the opportunity to go to but I would really love to and it sounds pretty awesome like the whole Hogsmeade area gets decorated for Christmas and they do fun Christmas shows and stuff like who doesn't want to be at Hogwarts at Christmas and the holiday season is a great time to inform your friends and family of what fandoms you like so they can get you gifts that you actually want so personally I think the holiday season is a great time to bring out your best fandomness. This headband is cutting off the circulation to my brain. I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. So let me know what fandom festivities you do in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more fandomness. And I will see you in my next video. Happy holidays! Bye!